Today on Stock Charts in Focus, we're digging into Stock Charts TV, showing you all the different ways to watch this incredible resource around the site. And specifically, we're gonna highlight some of the brand new content that we've just rolled out on the channel. A couple of specials that you need to watch, an interview with Tom Dorsey from Julius de Kempinar. We've got a new special from Larry Williams talking about some tricks or treats in the market that's coming up in October. And we've got Chart Madness Revisited. We're going back to a special that we did in March, revisiting seven months later, some of those picks that Greg Schnell, Tom Boley, Dave Keller, and myself made on Chart Madness. So lots to cover today. It's gonna to be a fun episode. Of course, you know what it is. It's all new, it's all here. It's Stock Charts in Focus. My friends, welcome to the show, Stock Charts in Focus. Of course, our product focus show here on the channel where we dig into the site, dive into the features, show you what's new, and ultimately help you get more value out of Stock Charts. That's our mission here every Friday on Stock Charts in Focus. Of course, we do this show every single week. Always a great opportunity to show you what's going on, show you what's new, show you different corners of the site. Now, this week is gonna be a really fun episode because we're actually highlighting some things here on Stock Charts TV. A little bit of uh, inception here. We're on Stock Charts TV talking about Stock Charts TV, but we've got some fantastic new content that just rolled out. Plus, we're gonna show you all the different ways to watch Stock Charts TV. Uh, believe it or not, we actually have three different ways to watch Stock Charts TV, four if you count kind of the secret. So we're gonna show you all of that and much more on today's show. So. Let's get to it. So first up, we are actually gonna start on the shows page. Now, if you've never seen this page before, it's a great directory of all the different shows that we have available on Stock Charts TV. When you hover over any of these cards, as you can see, you get some information, you get the timestamp on there when the show actually airs. Uh, you get the, uh, the host's photo as well and a little description of the show. So this is a great resource to come and learn more about all of our different shows that we have on Stock Charts TV. There are tons and tons of them. But when you click into any of these, you actually are taken to the uh, what we call the shows page, the episodes page. So you can actually watch more from that show. Uh, so this is a, a great, great page to come to. I wanna show you how to get there really quickly. All you've gotta do is come up to the Stock Charts TV tab from any page around the site. When you give that a click, you're actually taken over to our on-demand uh, or the, uh, the live platform here where you can actually watch everything. You've got the schedule, you've got upcoming guests, and you have a mini version of that show section down here which does the same thing. But to get to that sort of full featured version, oh, there I am, you actually come up to show lineup. When you hit show lineup, that's how you get to this page. So come here, read up on some of the different shows. Here's Stock Charts and Focus, the show that we are on right now. But you can read up on all of our different shows on this page just by hovering over these little cards. Now, what we're gonna highlight today is a couple of different specials that we've just done on the channel. So first up, we're talking about this interview with Tom Dorsey that Julius de Kempinar just did. Of course, Julius is the founder of RRG Research, the creator of RRG Charts, a brilliant technical analyst, and the host of Sector Spotlight, which airs every Tuesdays. So you can get a little description here of Sector Spotlight, but when we click on this card, as you'll see, we are taken to the episodes page for Sector Spotlight. So this page makes it really easy to come and get to the latest episode of Sector Spotlight, or for any of those other shows we were just looking at, you can get to the latest episodes here. Now these are actually pulling in videos from our YouTube channel, so all you gotta do is click the little red button in the middle of the, uh, of the video there to play it. If you ever wanna to get to an older episode of any of the shows though, you can always come up to this little icon in the top right corner, open that up, and this actually opens up all of the different shows. So in this case, Julius is actually filming the 100th episode of Sector Spotlight. Pretty incredible and, uh, and has a great guest to, uh, to do it to really celebrate that 100 episode uh, mark. Uh, but you can come and get to any of the other episodes that Julius has done. Uh, and this applies also to any of the other shows as well. So when you're on this page, if you wanna to get to previous episodes, just look for that little, uh, little icon in the top right, that little playlist icon. When you click any of these, it'll load right in this page. So nice and easy to work with there. 
If you do, by the way, want to get to YouTube, if you actually want to sort of leave stock charts, get over to YouTube and watch over there. Uh, maybe you want to, you know, use some of the uh, the save features, build up playlists over there, whatever you do on YouTube, uh, you can actually get to that right here as well. So a couple of different ways. And if you want to get to our YouTube channel, you can do that right at the bottom. But what we are talking about today is this incredible interview that Julius just did with Tom Dorsey. Now, obviously, I'm not going to hit play. We're not going to watch it. Um, I am giving you homework. You got to see this interview. If you're not familiar with Tom Dorsey, uh, Tom is really a legend in our industry. And what's interesting about Tom, um, he is someone that when I, when I think of Tom, I think of someone that has done so much for technical analysis, for the field of technical analysis, to actually grow technical analysis outside of technical analysis. What I mean by that is that Tom has done a phenomenal job of writing books, literally wrote the book on point and figure charting, but he was also one of the pioneers of these technical driven ETFs. So Tom kicked off a fantastic partnership through his company, Dorsey Wright and Associates, DWA. Uh, Tom kicked off a fantastic partnership with Invesco uh, about 15 years ago, bringing technical driven ETFs to the market. Uh, so a, a really, really interesting story here that they dive into in detail. I don't wanna spoil any of it, uh, and we've got uh, other things to talk about on the show, but I want to make sure that you're aware of this interview that we just did with Tom. Now, Tom is recently retired, but he is still very much uh, involved in the industry, a lot of speaking events and things. So we are so thrilled to have this interview with Tom on the channel. But, you know, he also dives into his background. Julius and Tom together talk about how they use point and figure charting, how they use relative strength, something near and dear to my heart. It's a fantastic episode, a lot of highlights, and uh, and really a lot to be learned from a true legend in this industry. Uh, you know, again, sort of one of the uh, one of the top people, top technical analysts, uh, you know, most famous technical analysts out there. So just a, a thrill to have Tom on the show. Um, and Julius, I will say, did a fantastic job with this interview. I really, really enjoyed the questions that he was asking and just the uh, the discussion. It's about 30 minutes long. It's just a great episode. So definitely check out that interview with Tom Dorsey. You can get to that uh, from the Sector Spotlight page right here, also up on our YouTube channel. If you're over on YouTube, I'm sure that you can search Tom Dorsey Sector Spotlight and it'll definitely come up there. So wanted to highlight that first and foremost, our uh, first little highlight, first little stop on today's show. Now, we've got another show from another legend of a technical analyst, and that is Larry Williams. So we're back on our shows page here, gonna come down to real trading. Now, Larry's show on Sockchart TV is a little bit different. He doesn't have a weekly show, it's not a weekly cadence. Larry has specials when he says that he has something really important to share with viewers. So his show is a little bit more irregular, but the key there is that when Larry does a show, there is a seriously important message in that show because Larry has actually come to us and he said, I got some stuff to share. I got charts that everyone needs to see. I've got indicator moves that everyone needs to know about and I need to do a special on Stock Charts TV. So every time that we do a special with Larry, again, you know, another renowned technical analyst, someone that has created indicators in the past, uh, someone that has been featured in so many publications, uh, Larry's work is just so well known, both inside the technical analysis community and outside the technical analysis community. For instance, Jim Cramer always talking about uh, about Larry, quoting Larry's work, his thoughts on the market, all that good stuff. But you know, when Larry comes to us and says, "I have a special," my ears perk up. It's always something that I make sure I carve out time to watch. So in this case, I'm going to click on this real trading card. We'll be taken over to the real trading page. Here is Larry's latest special, Trick or Treat Comes to Wall Street. Now, what's very, very cool about this, Larry is giving a timely discussion, looking at seasonal patterns, seasonal history in the, uh, in the market, talking about how that's gonna impact us moving forward. Larry does a great job of thinking forward. You know, not just analyzing what's happened in the past or kind of what's happening right now. Larry does a great job of combining that analysis with forecast, you know, thinking out into the future, what's going to happen? How can I trade this? How can I actually take some action on this analysis? So I always love that Larry's specials feel very, very actionable. Uh, but in this case, Larry is using some of his indicators that he's actually built into stock charts through his plugin, which you can get to by going to stockcharts.com slash marketplace 
look for the Larry Williams card that's going to uh, going to take you over to his plugin for ACP. Uh, but in this case, he's actually using some of his indicators, talking about things like his true seasonal indicator and how he's combining that with the current market action to think forward into what's going to be happening towards the end of October into November and into year end. So great, great stuff from Larry. Uh, he highlights a couple of things that he's seeing in the stock market also highlights some things that he's seeing in the gold market. Uh, Larry's actually expecting to see a bit of a bounce here in gold, a little bit of strength coming out of that all important asset. So lots to cover in Larry's special. Wanted to make sure that you are aware of it. It's also a great, great special because like I mentioned, he's using his indicators. We've done a lot of work with Larry to bring some of his most important indicators two stock charts via an ACP plugin. He's got his stock trading starter pack that's available on stock charts now uh, and lots of indicators that he's actually using in his own approach to the markets. These are indicators that Larry has created. He's been using them for years and now we have, a, have them available on stock charts. A beautiful, beautiful thing. And to see them in use by Larry, by such an accomplished technician and accomplished strategist in this special, it's just a, just a great thing. So I uh, wanted to make sure that you're aware of Larry's special. Again, same kind of idea. You can click right here to watch this directly from stock charts. But what's exciting, you can also come up to this icon in the top right corner, click on any of Larry's previous specials. You can see that there has been uh, quite a few of them. Uh, so you can get to any of Larry's previous specials right from this page. Also, if you want to watch it on YouTube, look for that button right there. So a great, great special from Larry. Definitely another one that you should make sure you carve out a little bit of time to watch. Now, we are gonna talk about something a little bit different. So in March of this past March, you know, everyone knows about March Madness with, uh, with college basketball. Well, we took that concept and created something that we called Chart Madness. So a couple of months ago, we filmed with uh, Greg Schnell, Tom Boley, Dave Keller, and myself. We put together a bracket of 16 stocks and we had a bit of a head-to-head -head stock pick and showdown we had to whittle that bracket down to a final pick in the end. We had a ton of fun doing this. And what was interesting is that we always planned to come back to it. We always planned to do something that we called Chart Madness Revisited. So we did that yesterday. We filmed Chart Madness Revisited. All four of us sat down, came back to our brackets, came back to the charts, revisited everything and talked through what's happened in the last seven months. Now we talked about what's happening in the markets, what's been happening in the markets. We also went through each matchup, uh, you know, one at a time, and uh, and talked about the individual charts there, the individual stocks that we were discussing in that chart madness special. So lots and lots to cover. What makes this very cool though is that you can actually get the bracket, so you can really participate and sort of follow along. Now to do that, we're actually going to come up here and go to stockcharts.com/chartmadness all one word, stockcharts.com slash chart madness. And that's gonna take you over to our landing page for that original show that we did back in March. You can see the uh, March 22nd date on that. Now we've updated this page though, so when you come down here, you've actually got the original chart madness special right there for you. So you can click right here to watch that chart madness special that we did a couple of months ago. Today though, like I said, we've got the chart madness revisited special coming out. So we're actually going to update this page. If you come here later on uh, stockcharts.com slash chart madness, you'll be able to uh, to see the revisited video as well. Um, but that'll also be up on our YouTube channel, also be up on the on demand platform, which we'll show you in, in, uh, in just a minute. And that will be on the live channel as well at stockcharts.com slash TV. So lots of different ways to watch this special, but you will be able to come to stockcharts.com slash chart madness and watch it. So the reason that I'm pulling this page up, the reason that we're talking about this is that it was a fantastic exercise. All four of us uh, reiterated this in the show. This is a great, great exercise uh, to have 16 stocks and you're picking these different matchups. You're taking these different charts, analyzing all of them, picking which one is the strongest and sort of narrowing down this bracket to a final pick. It was a great, great exercise. It was a great exercise when we did it the first time. But to actually come back and revisit that six or seven months later was a very, very beautiful thing. All of us had a great time. All of us learned a lot actually out of it. Um, and especially having this conversation between all of us, we, uh, we had a, just a great, great time filming this special. Tons of little uh, tidbits, you know, little uh, insights and, and things like that into 
process and uh, and chart analysis and uh, technical strategies and everything. It was a uh, it was a great show. Lots of charts uh, covering you know individual stocks and things like that. So um, a great great special that's coming out today. Chart Madness revisited. We're pulling this page up though, and the reason that I'm giving you this link, stockcharts.com/chartmadness, all one word, is that this is where you can actually come to download your bracket. Now, you can click this big red button that's just gonna download the bracket. You'll be able to fill that out with the 16 stocks that we used originally and the 16 stocks that we re revisited uh, in today's show. But the key there is that all of us said this sort of at the end of the, uh, the revisited episode. We said, you know, for all you viewers, come here, download the bracket, fill it out now, and schedule some time six months from now into 2022, schedule some time to revisit this. Just use this bracket, use these 16 stocks, and go through this exercise. You have it available to you. We all found that it was a uh, was a great sort of learning opportunity and just a ton of fun to do this little bracket challenge with a couple of stocks. You can use that bracket to uh, to pick your own stocks, fill in your own 16. But uh, we had a ton of fun doing this, learned a lot, and thought it was a great exercise to share with all of you. So definitely come over to stockcharts.com slash chart madness. Come download your bracket. You can watch the original special that we did. And like I said, later today, when that revisited special airs, you'll actually be able to come to this page and, uh, and watch that as well. Uh, but again, you can find that on our YouTube channel, find that on the live channel, and find that on the on-demand platform as well. So a couple of new specials that we've just done on Stock Charts TV. Beautiful stuff. The Tom Dorsey interview, a, an absolute highlight. So fun to see uh, you know, and hear Tom's background and the, the whole history behind all of his work, everything that he's done, his approach to point and figure charting, combining that with relative strength. So many different uh, highlights in there with that interview with Tom Dorsey. The Larry Williams special was an absolute highlight for me. I love, love, love hearing from Larry every time that he has a special every couple of months. Always a lot of important uh, insights and ideas that come out of those actionable ideas as well, like I said. And then that Chart Madness Revisited, which as you can see is actually playing on the channel right now as I'm filming this episode. Uh, so, so many different things to watch, so much different uh, content. And of course, you know, this is really just the tip of the iceberg. We are always doing content like this on Stock Charts TV. It is, like I said, you know, building off of last week's episode where we kind of highlighted uh, Chart School, some of the educational resources around the site. Chart School and the Support Center, all of that stuff is kind of the evergreen educational resource, if you will. It's the timeless stuff where you can go to learn about these concepts. But to see all of those technical strategies um, in action by technical experts, by charting experts and investing legends like Larry Williams, that's what Stock Charts TV is so good for. So, you know, we're bringing this content to you really as a, as a resource. It's intended to help you get more value out of Stock Charts because the more that you see these experts on the channel using these strategies and their approach to the market, their approach to the current market climate, uh, you know, the more that you're going to learn. So that's why the Stock Charts TV resource is there for you. Uh, and so that's why we're highlighting content like this from some incredible names like Tom Dorsey and Larry Williams. Now, on that note, I want to make sure that you're aware of all the different ways to watch Stock Charts TV, because like I said at the, uh, the start of the show, there are actually quite a few different ways to watch. So right now we're looking at what we call the live channel. Now, Stock Charts TV streams live 24 seven. It is always up here. You can go to stockcharts.com slash TV to get there. All you've got to do is click the play button in the middle of the screen, and that's going to launch the live player. This is where we have polls. We have question and answer sessions. We've got all of our uh, our shows streaming live, uh, you know, when they first air, uh, and a lot of great content in between between those uh, those live shows that we do. This is where you can come to get the schedule. Of course, you can scroll through here, like we highlighted earlier, and you can see some of the upcoming guests that are uh, going to be featured on the channel for uh, for different shows. So when we say the live channel, this is what we mean. Uh, and if you're on any of these other tabs, you can always click Watch Live to get back here. Now, there are two other ways to watch sort of outside of stock charts though. First up, we have our on-demand platform. This is the one that we just launched recently, uh, earlier this year. The on-demand platform is, uh, is actually a separate website. So when you come here to the Stock Charts TV tab on the Stock Charts website and you click on demand, you're actually gonna be taken over to stockchartstv.com. So not stockcharts.com, but stockchartstv.com. 
Now, the strength of the on-demand platform is a couple of different things. You can create an account. It's totally free, totally free to register. No payment required, none of that. Um, Stocktrust TV is free and, uh, and Stocktrust TV on demand is also free. So you come here, you create a free account, but what that allows you to do is save content, come back to things, revisit content that, uh, that you've watched in the past that you wanna come back to. Uh, it's sort of a, you know, a dedicated platform to just kind of do a little bit more with all of that Stocktrust TV content. So when you create the account, you'll actually be able to, uh, to sort of save things, favorite stuff, come back to uh, recently watched episodes, all of that. But the other thing that Stocktrades TV On Demand gives you, because you are creating a signup, it actually gives you access to all of our Stocktrades TV content across all of your different devices. So when we scroll down this page here, we've got a little bit of information about some of those different shows that we do. But right down here, you can see Watch On The Go. This is what we've been able to do with the Stock Charts TV on demand platform. We've been able to build apps across all of your different devices, whether it's your iPhone or your Android device, your laptop, your tablet, your smart TV, your Apple TV, Roku, Chromecast, all of those different devices. You can see them all listed down here. We have Stock Charts TV streaming on all of those devices thanks to the on demand platform, what we call the on demand platform. So anytime that you want to watch any of our content, you can access it now across any device. When you create that free account, you'll be able to log in across any of those devices and access that content. So if you want to pull up Stock Charts TV on, let's say, your Apple TV at home in the living room, you want to watch from the couch instead of being at your computer, you can do that with the on-demand platform. So there's tons and tons of features here, lots to explore. Uh, once you actually get into your Stocktrust TV account at stocktrusttv.com, once you create that free account and, uh, and sign up, you can come to the shows page, similar to what we had on the, uh, on the other site that we were looking at. You can come here and browse around, you know, recently added shows. You can look at specific shows. Here's Dave Keller's Final Bar Show, for instance, Your Daily Five, one that I absolutely love, a different tech uh, technician every day sharing five of their favorite charts uh, for the current conditions. Larry Williams stuff, and then we've got the All Shows section here that you can actually browse through. So lots and lots that you can see here on the On Demand platform. But really the strength of it is that it actually gives you access across all those different devices. So if you have a tablet, a smartphone, a smart TV, an Apple TV, Chromecast, any of that stuff, you can access Stocktrace TV across all those devices. Now we'll go back over to the Stock Charts website. Now we're back on stockcharts.com slash TV. So we're back on the live channel. The other way to watch is actually through our YouTube channel. So when we scroll down to the bottom of this page, we have a link to watch more on YouTube. So when I click this, that's going to take you to our Stock Charts YouTube channel. So just like the on-demand platform, we do put all of this content up on YouTube. It's available for you there as well. So if you're a YouTube user, you've got your uh, your account there, your playlist, you're you know liking things and uh, and organizing content through YouTube videos that you want to want to watch and everything. YouTube is kind of the other way to watch. Now we're going to be changing these over time. We're going to be sort of evolving content across the different platforms in some different ways. Uh, but for now, all of our content is available on YouTube as well. So you can always go to that YouTube channel and watch. For instance, here's Stock Charts and Focus. Look, there's my face all over the place, all over the YouTube channel. But you can come here, you can look through all of our different videos, you can come to playlists, and this is where you can get to all the different playlists for all of our different shows. You can learn more about Stock Charts even in this, uh, this section over here. And you can access some of those specials, for instance, the Chart Madness Special. This is gonna go up on YouTube uh, very, very soon, might actually already be up on the channel. Uh, might have gone out this morning. Uh, but this is where you can find specials like that. You can also find some of our past specials. You can find some of our past documentaries. For instance, a couple of, uh, well, uh, about a year ago now, we went to the uh, New York Stock Exchange. We were on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange, filmed a, a fantastic special with Jay Woods from there. So that kind of content, you can find that very easily on YouTube uh, via the Stock Charts YouTube channel over there. So that's kind of our third way to watch. Now, I'm gonna go back to stock charts before we wrap up the show because there's actually one secret way to watch as well, which I kind of alluded to earlier. I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna open up ACP. ACP, of course, is our interactive advanced charting platform. Brand new, we rolled this out last year on stock charts. It is something that we've been talking about a ton on the show, I know. But there's a little corner of ACP that actually allows you to watch Stock Charts TV and 
chart the markets at the same time. So down here in the right bottom right corner of ACP, you've actually got the little stock charts TV icon. When you give that a click, you'll see that this opens up stock charts TV right within ACP. Now, what's very, very cool about this is that it allows you to chart the markets and watch content at the same time. So for instance, if you're following along with Dave Keller's show after the market closes the final bar and you want to actually pull up some of those charts that Dave's talking about, you can watch Dave's show and see the markets go through your whole charting, uh, you know, save charts, organize your chart list, all of that good stuff. You can do that right from ACP at the same time. You've also got a couple of different features in here that make it really nice uh, and, uh, and sort of organized for you. So for instance, you've got that show schedule right here in the sidebar. You've got that upcoming guests list here in the sidebar. And you can always close this down. Just look for the little X up in the top right. If you wanna have more room for your charts and the player, you can close down that sidebar. Now, the other thing you can do here though is resize this. So you can actually click and drag right on the black bar that goes across the top. So you can make the player a little bit smaller. Or you can use some of these uh, quick sort of snap to uh, height features that make it really easy to, uh, to move that drawer up and down. So let's say you've got your charts, you're listening into Dave's show and you just kind of want to have it on in the background. You can actually click that arrow, minimize that drawer down to the bottom of the screen and the player will keep running. So you can actually listen to, for instance, Dave Keller talking about the markets while you're, uh, while you're going about your charting, going about your, uh, your analysis routines. This is sort of the, uh, the podcast version, I guess, of watching Stock Charts TV. You can chart the markets and just listen in the background. Let's say though, you're doing that and Dave says something really interesting that you wanna see. Well, you can just click that arrow, open that back up, and it's right there for you. Now, if he says something super interesting that you really, really wanna see, you can actually maximize this drawer to take over the entire screen. So you hit the little maximize icon, that's gonna blow up Stock Trace TV, it's gonna take up all of ACP. So you can really just kind of sit here, watch Stock Trace TV for a little while, listen to what Dave or any of our other experts are saying, and then when you're ready to get back to your charting, you can either click that, uh, that full screen icon again, or you can click that little arrow button and that'll bring the, uh, the drawer back to its uh, sort of half position, half height position. So a couple of different ways to, uh, to watch Dark Charts TV here, not just on the live channel, but also the on-demand platform, our YouTube channel, and even right within ACP now with Stock Charts TV integrated right into the platform. So I know that we covered a ton on today's show, highlighting a couple of the new specials that we've just brought out on the channel, that interview with Tom Dorsey, the, uh, the new special from Larry Williams and that Chart Madness Revisited special. Lots of great content, as always, coming to the channel. Uh, and, you know, we could really do this show every week and say, here's what's happened. Here's the uh, the brand new exciting content that we've just rolled out on Stock Trace TV. It really is a constant stream. We've got, you know, our weekly shows, our daily shows, our monthly shows, and these uh, unique specials from time to time. So so much content there. Make sure that you carve out a little bit of time to go check out some of those different shows we uh, that we looked at. Review that shows page, read some of those descriptions, follow some of those analysts that you love hearing from. You can, uh, can learn more about their different shows. You can follow those shows right there on Stock Charts TV, but you can also go to the on-demand platform, also go to the YouTube channel, also go to ACP now. So many different ways to watch. Uh, but keep a close eye on that schedule. We've always got something exciting coming out. And like I said, it really is kind of an extension of those educational resources that we have in Chart School and the Support Center. It's kind of the active education. It's the, uh, the ongoing resource that's constantly evolving, constantly changing with the current market. Now, I want to thank you for joining me on today's show. I hope you'll tune in for next week's episode. We've got some really, really fun stuff coming out, some product stuff rolling out on the site in the next couple of weeks, some ACP changes, uh, some updates actually, I'm, uh, I'm teasing you here, some updates to the drawer, big updates coming to ACP with the, uh, the drawer and chart lists and how you kind of manage your lists. Lots of exciting stuff coming there. And we've got a couple of new plugins coming from some exciting partners, Go No Go, launching very soon. So I've said too much, I've said too much, but, Definitely tune in. In the next couple of weeks, we've got some exciting stuff happening. New stuff rolling out on the site, and this is going to be the place to hear about it. Stock charts in focus every Friday, 5 p.m. Eastern time. My name is Grayson Rose, Vice President of Operations here at StockCharts.com. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you again very soon for the next one, but until then, 
chart on, my friends. Hey guys, Dave Keller here with StockCharts.com. Thanks so much for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, and we hope you did, hit the like button right below. Also, we have so much new content every day. Consider subscribing to the channel. Just hit the subscribe button in the video or right below. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Have a fantastic day.